Hello America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming back at you with some more wonderful information. I was recently going on the web and I saw a whole lot of pictures of drawings of how a fridge actually works. Well, a little while ago, me and a friend of mine decided to take a fridge apart and show you the physical parts and how they function. Okay, ta-da! This is a top mount refrigerator that has been taken apart and is functioning. Okay, if you'll notice, I'm actually got frost already coming on in here. Okay, you can see the frost as it starts to build up. I'll get into how it gets there in a second, but to start, this is a fridge taken apart. Okay, don't need pictures. Now you can go up pictures, you can see airflow, and they got arrows pointing here, arrows pointing there, doing all that kind of stuff. That's a beautiful thing, but you can physically now see what it is. Okay, we're going to start with the compressor. This is a compressor. Okay, what it does. It takes Freon and compresses it, exactly what it says. Like your air compressor at home, it basically takes, for the lack of an argument, it takes three pounds of liquid or vaporized Freon and basically compresses it to a one pound ball, okay? And then it comes out of here, it goes in through this line, and this line is actually hot because this is moving, moving gas. Goes into this, which is the condenser. Okay, what this does, this starts the process for the Freon to go from a vapor state to a liquid state. Okay, as it goes through this, air is blown across this, which helps pull the heat out of the vapors, and which over time, between once it leaves here, it goes up. And have you ever felt around your fridge, you've got that warm thing around your fridge, around the outside? That's what this is. This is yours called a hot gas emollient loop. There's a couple other things that it's called, okay? But this is also pulling heat out of the vaporized um, Freon. Now, when it comes through here, it goes to down here what we call a filter dryer, okay? This is a filter dryer. By the time it gets to this point, your Freon should be back to a liquid state, okay? Then it goes up through this cap tube, little bitty tube, okay? up to here okay when it comes in here it is now a liquid as the liquid flows through what's called my evaporator here you can see the frost starting to build up okay that is the freon turning back from a liquid back to a vapor state okay you have three states of matter or not matter but you have liquid vapor and solid okay obviously water would be water would be the liquid ice would be the solid and humidity for lack of better explaining is the vaporized form of water okay this goes through two of the three stages it doesn't get cold enough to become a solid because of the way it flows now the way it works is this is my fan that is in, is in front of my fridge what it does it draws the air up across this as the warm air comes across this the warm air is now cooled by the the frosting of the of the evaporator and then gets blown back into my fridge okay into the fridge and then it comes back up across and makes a big circle and every time it goes across this it cools down a little bit okay and then eventually that's where your fridge gets cold okay now obviously excuse my mess here is here but obviously your settings will determine how and how much cold it gets okay we've got it on the normal settings here so it's gonna it's gonna function fine. Now what happens is every 12 to 14 hours it goes into what is called a defrost mode. And what it does is the defrost mode is let's see if I have this hooked up or not, I'm not sure if I do. This is your defrost heater. Okay. This is basically called a cal rod heater. It basically gets hot, the, the compressor will shut off. So I'll shut the we'll just shut the compressor off because it's actually they won't function at the same time. This will your fan will shut off your compressor will shut off, your condenser fan will shut off, and then this will actually start to heat up. And it'll get to the point that it will actually melt all of this frost build up on your fridge. So therefore we have nice clean grates for the air to flow again, okay? That usually runs for about 20 to 35 minutes, okay? Then after that, the compressor will turn back on. Once this thing turns everything off, you have a thermistor here. And what this is, this is a thermostat. What it does is at 30 degrees, anywhere from 25 to 35 degrees, depending on the manufacturer, 
this will actually make contact inside here. What that does is obviously this doesn't go anywhere, but this actually goes to one leg here. It'll go up through here and it'll actually heat this up. That's how this gets hot. It gets hot, it melts all of the on your fridge and then it turns itself back on and then the process starts all over again. That's how a fridge works, okay? Please tune in uh, next week for some more wonderful information and, information and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and have a wonderful week.